There's just one week to go before the election, and President Obama has endorsed the freedom to marry in all four of the states that will vote on the issue. Meanwhile, Mitt Romney has endorsed a constitutional amendment to ban marriage equality. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for October 29, 2012. In just days, four states will vote on the freedom to marry. Polling is still very close. Visit afer.org slash election2012 for ways that you can be of help in all four campaigns. Meanwhile, President Obama has lent his support in all of those races. In Washington, Obama spokesman Paul Bell says the president supports a yes vote to approve referendum 74. In Maine, his press secretary said the president believes same-sex couples should be treated equally and supports question one. In Maryland, Obama said, you have the chance to reaffirm that principle of fairness and equality in the voting booth in November. It's the right thing to do. And in Minnesota, which will vote on a marriage ban, Obama officials released a statement reading, the Minnesota ballot initiative would single out and discriminate against committed gay and lesbian couples, and that's why the president does not support it. Meanwhile, an advisor to Mitt Romney confirmed this week that the candidate supports a federal constitutional amendment to prohibit the freedom to marry. Polling in those crucial state races is still very close. In Washington, an Elway poll shows support for Ref 74 dropping under 50 percent. It's now leading, but just barely, at 49 to 45 percent. And in Minnesota, the latest polls show that the marriage ban has 44 percent support to 51 percent opposed. And there's one more state with a vote next week involving the freedom to marry. In Iowa, voters will decide whether to retain a Supreme Court justice who struck down the state's marriage ban. It was a unanimous decision by a conservative court, but anti-gay activists are pushing to unseat all of the justices. Now, Justice David Wiggins is being targeted by groups like NAM. He needs 50 percent support to keep his seat, and just as in other states, the polling is going to be close. A Des Moines Register poll shows that he has 49 percent support, with 41 percent voting to unseat. There's still time to get involved in Iowa as well as in Maine, Maryland, Minnesota, and Washington. Visit afer.org slash election2012 for resources that you can use to spread the word about those races and contribute to the campaigns. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching.